problem number 45, I'd like to find dy dx for y equals the square root of 1 plus cotangent squared of x. All right, so the first thing that I see here when I look at this problem is I see, okay, uh, what's the outermost function or what is it that happens last for this function? And the last thing that happens is the square root. Everything else is done inside, and then I square root it. So I've got the square root of something. And if you would prefer, you could write it this way, if this makes it easier. This is 1 plus cotangent squared of x raised to the 1 half power. So I've got something to the 1 half power. So what I need to do is if I want to take the derivative of this, I have something to the 1 half power. So what's the derivative, dy over dx, of something to the 1 half power? It would be 1 half of something, 1 plus cosine, uh, I'm sorry, cotangent squared of x to the negative 1 half power, times the derivative of what was on the inside, or of the something. So what's on the inside in this case? It's 1 plus cotangent squared of x. So what's the derivative of 1 plus cotangent squared of x? Well, the derivative of 1 is 0. The derivative of cotangent squared of x, wait a second, I don't know the derivative of cotangent squared of x, but I can figure it out using the chain rule. Okay, so we use the chain rule again. So when I look at cotangent squared of x, I say, what happens first? Do I cotangent the x first and then square, or do I square and then take the cotangent? Well, I take the cotangent of x, and then I square it. So the last thing that happens is a square. So I have something squared, cotangent of x squared. And the derivative of something squared is 2 times that something cotangent of x to the first power, right? I won't write that in because we know that's just 2 cotangent x times the derivative of what was on the inside, or the something. In this case, that was cotangent x. And the derivative of cotangent of x is negative cosecant squared of x. Okay, so let's review this one more time. I started with something to the 1 half power, and the derivative of something to the 1 half power is 1 half times something to the negative 1 half. So I just used the power rule. But then I have to remember to multiply by the derivative of what was on the inside. And the derivative of what was on the inside is the derivative of 1 is 0, and the derivative of cotangent squared x I needed to use the chain rule, so I brought down the 2 times cotangent of x times the derivative of cotangent of x, and then I'm done.